Hello guys, this is a very quick political video, this is pretty much breaking news for us, okay? Tonight, our Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, will find out if he's still the Prime Minister. Normally, whether someone is a Prime Minister or not, it depends upon them winning a general election. And usually the public choose who the party is that wins and the leader is typically of that party becomes the Prime Minister. They don't have to be. The public typically vote for the party. But, you know, the convention, even if not specifically the rules, is that whoever is the leader of that party will become Prime Minister. However, this time the public will have no say whatsoever in whether Boris will remain our Prime Minister by the end of the night. Um, I don't believe he will be replaced tonight if there is. I, there would probably be nobody in charge or maybe he would just be temporarily in charge if he isn't. But this will be decided entirely by his own members of parliament. The members of parliament in his own party. This will be decided by his own people, not the public. And this is very rare, but not perhaps as rare as you might expect. As Theresa May herself um, um, was actually had to suffer this fate um, when she was Prime Minister. So, what's this all about? Well, if a certain percentage of Conservative members of Parliament don't believe that um, their leader should keep their job, they can write a letter to the head of what is known as the 1922 committee. Why it's why I don't know. I'd, I'd have to look into it to be honest. And I've done this very. I'm doing this video very quickly. Okay. And basically, this is a group of backbenchers. In other words, the lowest ranking. Um, politicians in part element okay but in this particular case also happen to be members of the Conservative Party the 1922 committee only affects the Conservative Party Labour have their own way of replacing their leader um, and if enough people write to this the person who's in charge of the 1922 committee saying they no longer have faith in their leader um, then a vote must be um, held as soon as practically possible and all the members of parliament that are members of the Conservative Party vote to determine whether the leader will remain the leader. That vote happened because more than 54 people wrote to um, Mr. Brady, who is in charge of the 1922 committee, and he, sorry, I'll, I'll repeat that, okay, more than 54 people, the exact number is never stated, but it happens to be a certain percentage, in this case it is 54 people or more, wrote to um, him saying they no longer had any confidence in him, in Boris. This was partly, I think, um, caused by some people booing Boris as he, um, outside um, the memorial, the, um, sorry, the service for the um, Queen as part of the Jubilee celebrations, and he spoke at the religious service as part of the. Jubilee celebrations, some people aren't happy about him, and 
a lot of members of his own party aren't happy with him. You might ask, well, why? And part of it is to do with something called Partygate. What you might ask is Partygate, if you're not part of um, Britain. What well, my member of, sorry, not part of Britain, if you're not British. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm doing this very, very quickly, okay? And not very well. I, I accept that, okay? But this is breaking news for us, okay? Well, Partygate is where he was fined by the police for attending his own birthday party in breach of COVID rules that he himself personally introduced. And it was seen as, um, and apparently, he's the first Prime Minister ever to receive any kind of penalty or punishment from the police while being the Prime Minister. Now, some of you might say, he attended a birthday party, so what? Is it really that bad a thing to do? I mean, you know, it's not like he was corrupt and stole lots of money or something, or, I don't know, rigged an election or something, you know. Or... Or did something like, you know, send people to war under a false premise, which although um, Tony Blair did not apparently officially break the law on this, officially, according to uh, most people think what he did was damn right wrong. Uh, but that's sort of a matter. So, tonight, members of the Conservative Party will go into a room and vote for whether or not Boris should remain our Prime Minister. They're not officially voting for that. What they're officially voting for is whether or not he remains the leader of the Conservative Party. And if they vote that he... Um, should no longer be a leader of the Conservative Party, then another leader will be chosen. I'm not sure exactly how this will work, because this is breaking news. I haven't had time to look into this. I've tried to produce this video as quick as I can. However, my understanding is, before that vote takes place, he has the opportunity to um, talk to all the MPs, part of the back benches, and others, and to try to convince them to vote for him tonight to remain. Um, many members of the senior members of the government back him. Um, he's credited with getting Brexit done. Some people credit him with getting broadband um, done, um, trying to steer us through the COVID mess. Um, if you're pro-vaccines, for um, being one of the first, I think the first country in Europe to actually vaccinate people or something like that, been, you know, something like that. I'm not sure of the exact details, I think. And several other things. So some people think he's, they're happy with what he's done and he's actually achieved things and he's credited with that and trying to concentrate on what they call the serious issues. Others feel it's insensitive that he would attend a party for, for himself in violation of the law, um, although some people believe he was basically ambushed by his well-meaning wife in this regard in some way, and tricked by his well-meaning wife in some way, but that's of a matter. Um, and they feel annoyed that on the one hand he and other members and other people in um, Number 10 Downing Street were enjoying themselves in breach of the rules when other people were told they could not watch, uh, go to hospital and see um, their relatives before they died. And so it's, it's a particularly sensitive topic, okay? And it's basically known as Partygate. 
there is something um, similar happening ironically with the leader of the opposition with the Labour Party called Beergate where apparently he had a, a, well he had a beer and a curry um, but he claims that it was part of um, an official work event the police are currently investigating it and he said that if the police personally find him um, guilty of an offence he will resign and he made this a, point, a difference between himself and Boris where the opposition member said if the police find him guilty of this he will resign and go immediately even though he doesn't have to he made a decision he would do that and that investigation is still ongoing with the police whereas Boris was fined but he carried on the job and refused to resign some people think well it's only a party you know it wasn't like a really serious bad thing that he did he didn't do anything really nasty or corrupt so who cares and some people think well it's sending the wrong message and it was insensitive um, when other people were suffering and couldn't see their loved ones in hospital because of covid rules and it was part of a one rule for one and one rule for others if you get my point even though he's been punished for it i think it was about 50 pounds that he had to pay as a punishment but it was just a principle so my understanding is at approximately from from approximate between approximately six o'clock and eight p.m uk time tonight the vote will take place to decide whether or not Boris will remain our Prime Minister or not. If he, in, in the vote of no confidence, in the vote of confidence, I think it's a no confidence vote, I can't remember the exact term, but it's to do with confidence, it's a no confidence vote, I believe, or a vote of confidence. I can't remember the exact term, but people do talk about no confidence most of the time, okay? And if he loses the vote, I said, he will no longer be our Prime Minister. I don't know if it means he will not be our Prime Minister immediately and they have to find somebody else immediately or if it means that he will lose but they may he may stay on until they find a replacement. I'm not sure what the rules are in this regard or they may as I say he may, he may step down immediately they may have an acting leader and then choose perhaps the real leader Anyway, I, I'm, this is breaking news, so I've not researched this as much as I would like to have done, just because it takes time to upload videos, etc, etc, and I wanted everybody who might be interested to know the breaking news um, now. Apparently, an extra thing, was that apparently some people were unhappy about this before, uh, particularly when it was clear that he was booed at, at a remembrance party or something, but apparently what happened was... Um, and this was admitted by the head of the 1922 committee was that um, some of those who wrote in the letters said that they did not want um, you know this vote to take place until after the Queen's Jubilee celebrations had finished okay and technically the Queen's celebration Jubilee celebrations finished yesterday um, yesterday was the last day of those celebrations um, I think nobody really wanted, you know, there to be this vote of no confidence or anything like that while this Jubilee celebrations were going on. And um, so it wouldn't distract from, you know, the Queen or anything like that, um, as this may make um, worldwide news. OK, so you've heard it from me, guys. We'll find out tonight if he um, remains our Prime Minister or not. Most people think he will actually keep his job. Um, but it depends on how his own people feel you know it will be an anonymous vote so the public will not be able to find out how their um, member of parliament voted in this regard but if he I believe he has to I believe over um, if more than 180 people vote for him to to um, say vote to have no have vote that they have no confidence in him i.e. he loses and 180 people vote against him then he will no longer be the leader anyway 
or at least it won't be in, in the long term. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll provide a link to a BBC article about this below and, and you can do your own research if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Bye.